Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. In this video, we're going to learn how to do data visualization using command line tools. We're going to be using the European Soccer SQLite database again. And if you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect to that database in DuckDB, you can have a look at my last video, which we'll include at the top. Now we're gonna be using just the command line this time. So we're gonna be using the DuckDB CLI again, but we need to make sure that the SQLite as extension is loaded for every query that we run. And so if we run DuckDB help and we scroll up a little bit, we see it's got this init flag that where we can pass in a script that we wanna have running every time. And so I've got a script called init.sql. And if we have a look at that, we can see it contains a load SQLite command. And so we're gonna run that every time. Now let's have a look at a query that we're gonna run. This is the same as the one that we looked at in the last video and it finds the top rated players by their most recent overall ranking. So we're gonna pipe that query into the DuckDB CLI and then we're gonna we're have it run and sort of show the results. And so we can see here we've got, we've got a nice table and it shows Messi, Ronaldo, Neuer, Neymar and a few other players as well. But what we'd rather do, like to do rather than seeing that table visualization is we wanna see a chart. And so I recently discovered this cool tool called uplot. Uh, and so uplot is a command line tool that draws plots on the terminal based on a library called Unicode plot. And if we come back to our terminal now, we can call uplot help and we can see the types of charts that it will allow us to create. So we can see we can do a bar chart, we can do line, we can do scatter, and then we can do a couple more as well. So let's go back to our query. Now at the moment, our results are in what's called duck box format. And so we wanna get it into a, a, a different format. So uplot expects the X axis to be in column one, and then any values like for the Y axis, they should be in columns two, three, four, and so on. And so we need to make sure that our data is in that format. And so we can actually do that in DuckDB using the, the CSV flag. So if we update our query to use the CSV flag, and now we can pipe it into the uplot bar plot, and we'll get a bar plot or bar chart even showing, showing that data. And so we can see it looks pretty good, pretty good so far. Now let's try another query. So we'll zoom in on one of those players. So let's let's pick Lionel Messi. And we're gonna have a look at his ratings over time. So not just the latest one, but like all the ones, all the rank rankings up to now. And so let's have a look at the query. So you can see it's pretty similar to before, but we've, but we've now got a where clause and it's only selecting Messi. And then rather than selecting using argmax, we just get just the, we get all of the rankings instead. And so if we run that query and again, pipe it into uplot, we can see there's a big increase uh, in 2008, then it gets quite steady. And then there's another increase in 2012, then a little bit of a dip and then back up again. And remember this only goes up to 2016. And so that's, that's how you do a, a line chart for one value on the y-axis. Let's now have a look at how we could do the same thing for multiple players, so analyzing multiple players. So the tricky thing here is that we need each player to be in each in, in its own column, right? So player one in column, player two in a column, player three in a column, and so on. And so that means we need, we're gonna make use of the, the first aggregate function and then a filtering clause to filter out, just find the values for that player. And so we've got a few different, few different players. We've got Messi, we've got Royce, and then we've got a couple of others as well. And so if we run that query, you can see we've got some missing values, right? So the date at which the ranking was captured for each player is not necessarily the same. And so what we need to do is we wanna fill those in. Now, because of the, kind of weird way that we've done it in SQL. I'm not entirely sure how to do that in SQL, but it's relatively easy to do it in Python using pandas. So we can call this fill na function, say I wanna do a forward fill and it will sort it out for us. So we've got this uh, fill.py. And so if we pipe our query results into that script, then it's gonna fix it. And so you can see now we've got no more missing values. So it just takes the previous value and fills it in until we see a new value and then we're gonna use the new value. And so what we can do now is we can then update that command to pipe it into a scanner plot. And so we can see here, Messi's quite stable at the top, um, whereas the others are kind of improving quite a lot over that uh, range of dates. What about if we want a line chart instead? So that's reasonably easy. We can just go and update, update our query to say lines instead of scatter. And now it's easier to see that actually Royce has the biggest improvement, but Suarez is the one who's actually got the closest to Messi. And one more, how about a box plot showing like the, like the range of, how, of, of what the improvement has been? And so for this one, it's kind of interesting because we only want to have the Y values. It's not interested in an X axis, but we have the problem that we can see here that one of our columns contains a date. So we need to get rid of that. And it's quite easy to do that using the cut command. So we can just cut it out and say, hey, get me column two onwards. 
And then once we've done that, we can pipe it into the uplot box function. And so there you can, now you can see, hey, we've got a nice box plot. We can see Messi has, has kind of predictably has kind of stayed roughly really, really good. And um, we can see the others have made some quite big improvements. And so that's the end of this video in which we've learned how to do command line data visualization with DuckDB, Pandas, and Uplot. Uh, if you found this video useful, uh, take a look at my DuckDB playlist uh, for other videos. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.